Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. It's been an interesting week when you have real Star Wars clashing with Disney Star Wars. The Acolyte Episode 4 brought into question, and not just the question of changing Ki Adamundi's age, but the question of, do you tolerate lore changes? Oh, but Adam, George Lucas, he changes stuff all the time. He always in the... No, George is the creator. He can do whatever he wants. And then he would have people try to make it work within the context of the lore. That's a difference. This is Disney Star Wars trashing everything without caring. And their loyal Stan and Shill army happily sucking it all down. So this happened this week where we had episode four and we all trashed it. People with a brain roasted living hell out of it. And... What did you expect the response from Disney Star Wars, Disney Lucasfilm, and their stands were going to be? That's right. We're all toxic, racist bigots. We're, we hate everything. Star Wars fans are the reason Star Wars has so many problems. The, the usual began. Blame the real fans. And you got to wonder then where we go from here. It's the usual stuff, the usual responses. But... Then something unexpected happened. Amanda Stenberg, star of the Acolyte, who has one single emote that she's capable of doing. She dropped a video, a self-produced music video on the fake holiday known as Juneteenth. And it basically is a three and a half minute diatribe of black people oppressed, white people bad. Everybody's racist if you don't like my Star Wars show. Now, I got to remind you of this. As I have been made privy to and the ev evidence is out there, Amanda Stenberg is half white. Amanda Stenberg is half white and ever since she was four years old, has never wanted for anything in her life. Got paid to be a Disney model, got paid to be a Disney actress, got made things handed to her on a silver platter. Never, ever has had to struggle for a single thing. Therefore, when you get this video right here, and we're not going to watch it. I'm not going to torture you with this. I'll be torturing other people with this on Sunday. This is complete disconnection with reality. Complete disconnection. This is how you look when you do not realize that you are the problem. Because here's just a quick quote. Quick quote from it we're at park place they had all the lyrics for us she says in this they splice lines make hate they recognize talking about white people make it look like the same propaganda they spew because they conflate our pain with violence and try to weaponize everything that we do the desperation of oppressors is rising and now they holding onto any old thing they can use if you rely upon misinformation that tells me you afraid of the truth and then she'll go on to attack uh, actual Star Wars fans. She basically called millions of people racists and bigots and toxic nerds in this little three and a half minute diatribe because you didn't like her Disney Star Wars show because there's pushback and criticism. So what do you think the response was from the shillverse, from the standum? Well, before that, you have to understand James O'Keefe, James O'Keefe, the guy who basically does a lot of undercover work, gets guys to spew shit they shouldn't, dropped this giant-ass bomb from a guy called Giordano, who was a part of, he says, Michael Giordano, a vice president of business affairs at Disney, came over from Fox, from Fox, 20th Century Fox, basically says in this, if you are white, Disney's not going to hire you. If you are white in the company, they are not going to promote you. They only want my people of color. And there's a, this, this is a whole 20-minute thing. We're not going to watch any of this. But that's the general gist of it. Disney is pushing racism. And this was dropped at 12.54 p.m. on June 20th. Amanda Stenberg dropped her thing the day before. But when this drops at 12.54, as this happens, you have to understand this is Disney stamping okay racism, basically approving that she can do this. I mean, Amanda Stenberg could come out, half-white Amanda Stenberg, never oppressed ever in her life, can come out, call millions of people racist, 
Millions of fans, toxic and racist. And that's okay. While Gina Carano puts up a meme that she didn't even make and gets fired. Just remember that. So what do you think the response is from the show media? Let's go through them. Deadline. Accolades of Manless Denver released his song after being flooded with intolerable racism. Receipts, please. I'm asking for receipts. They never have any. Entertainment Weekly. The Acolyte star Amanda Stenberg drops new song in response to intolerable racism. Wait a minute. It's as though they got the email to use the same exact title. Hollywood Reporter. The Acolyte star Amanda Stenberg releases song responding to fan backlash. And there it is. They admit it's fan backlash. And let's take a quick look at these times here. 8.45 p.m. Long after James O'Keefe released his video. 10, 19 p.m., way after. 4.48 p.m. Oh, she'll cite. <laughs> I'm bailing some response to online racist harassment in new music video. No one's harassed her for her color of her skin. We simply call her a bad actress. It's the same old song and dance. We criticize her inability to act. We criticize her character. We don't talk about the color of her skin doesn't matter. She can't act. And her character's retarded and stupid. And then, of course, Screen Random. Manless Stenberg calls out the acolyte discourse and racism in social media music video. Look at the details there. Manless Stenberg responds boldly to toxic backlash against the acolyte with powerful cringe music video on social media. Online trolls misrepresent quotes from Stenberg and showrunner twisting words to fuel racism and sexism in backlash. Stenberg stands up against the intolerable, intolerable racism. There it is again. And threats calling out toxic behavior and demanding responses. I'm still looking and waiting for receipts on all of this stuff. Where is the attacks? And if they, and they're talking about how she and Leslie Headland are now trying to change the headlines change the narrative that, oh, we didn't make a, a show that's queer coded. Leslie Headland was talking about making this a show based on gay for months leading up to the release. So don't pretend it is anything but what you see on the screen. So here you go. She drops this video. We respond. Why are you calling us all racist? Why are you doing this? Obviously, Disney is okay with this because she's ma black or half black. And the shills back it up. She's it's intolerable racism, it's toxic, this toxic that. It's the approved message. And who do you think then backs up the approved message? The shills. Because she's been under attack. So here come. All the replies, shout out to the amazing Amanda and Charlie who both do a terrific job in Star Wars, the Acolyte. This is just a sampling, remember? I come across these things, I grab a couple. You can go onto X Twitter, you can find the stuff. They get the message. Let's go out and support them. Let's make sure everybody knows that they're loved. We have to tell these privileged people that they're loved and we respect them and love them. Friendly reminder that Amanda Stenberg and Charlie Barnett are both great actors and they're doing an excellent job of the Acolyte and y'all should show some respect for them. Why? She just told me I'm a racist because I don't like her Star Wars character. Why should I respect? But this is the response because you look at these times. This is long after 5.36 p.m. June 20th. 6.18 p.m. June 20th. This is long after James O'Keefe has dropped a bombshell that Disney approves racism against white people. This is approved content by Disney. She has not been fired, will not be fired from any future projects. The shills in the stands are what's wrong with all this, but they're going to call us wrong because then they're going to run around preaching, there's been a lot of hate surrounding this fan in the past couple of days. We need some positivity! Here's a list of accounts who are very positive in the community and go give them a follow and show support. If you miss it, I'll tag you. This is the then the, the clarion call that went out. The alert. The toxic fans are on to us. We have to pretend that we're all positive. We have to pretend that there's that negativity is bad, that Star Wars is for everyone. If you don't agree with that, if you hate Amanda Stenberg and guy who thinks Anakin blew up the Death Star then you're a toxic nerd and you're poisoning everything. You're what's wrong with Star Wars. And then there's our favorite Suggs. Today has honestly been such an amazing 
day being on the Star Wars Twitter with all the intense toxicity and negativity as of late, scrolling through my feed and seeing so many kind, respectful people talking about why they appreciate this series, what it means to them, and being positive voices within the fandom. It's genuinely incredible. Such a brush of fresh air. There truly are more of us. The Star Wars galaxy has and always will be for everyone, for light and life. This guy, as I always say, is the poster child of a fake fan, of a shill, of somebody who will do everything to shit on real Star Wars to promote Disney Star Wars. Saying for light of life, that is one of the calling cards of a fake fan. They care more about a fan fiction line from the High Republic than quoting actual Star Wars, as I would say, May the force be with you instead of using that dog shit and always saying, oh, there are more of us. No, there aren't. You idiots on Twitter, you are this much of the needle that you don't move it. You don't have a presence. Your little circle jerk is not profound. It's not powerful. It is minuscule like your penis. Here's the thing, though. This is what they've been doing. This is how they've been behaving, how they've been acting. You see a manless Stenberg comes out like this, and what is the response? Her racism is okay. This is the dividing line. Right here, right now. You are either a Disney stan who walks around and pretending everything that these people do is okay, spreading actual hate, calling millions of people racists and bigots, because you don't like a Star Wars character because you think she's a bad actress. This is who they're supporting. This is who all these people on the shills and the stands, this is who they support. This is not what real fans do. This is not what normal people do. This is what programmed, hive mind, ideologically driven asshats do. They will say one thing while doing another, ignoring the blatant, obvious actions of people who are filled with hate, who are intent on tearing down things that should be remain that should remain pure and untouched. Dizzy Star Wars and those who support it are not good people. I'm gonna say that. I might catch a little hate for this, but they're not good people. If you are okay with a manless Stenberg pretending to be oppressed pretending to be some sort of black icon when she's half white, pretending that she has some sort of uh, mission by calling out racist fans and racist nerds, by dealing with the intolerable racism, everything. If you are supporting this, you're not right. You're not. Because all we've ever done on our side is call out what James O'Keefe is now obviously reporting on, showing. So what James O'Keefe is directly showing has been the truth all along. Disney are the ones pushing racism, hate, divisive tactics. They approve of this. And if you they approve this and she does it and all the stands and all the approve of it, where do you think the true hate and the racism is? All we do is criticize an actor for being a bad actor. All we do is criticize a performance, a character for being bad, but we're toxic, we're bad or evil. In the end, it's about, do you support George Lucas Star Wars? Do you support keeping it alive, collecting, protecting, and preserving it for future generations? Or do you support the hate-filled Disney campaign and all those who want to push forward people like Amanda Stenberg as some sort of activist great person? who's going to save the world through her cringe-ass rap song. It's what it is, bottom line. You're the four real Star Wars and you're not. I'm for real Star Wars. I love it. Franchise close to my heart. I will fight to protect it to my end of my days. And I will always, always speak out against this kind of bullshit because what's, what's going to happen? I'm going to be called all kinds of names. Well, guess what? <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to right here on YouTube. Hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about whiny, about Stan fake fan and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.